Windows Defender or Windows Security comes free with any Windows OS, promising to keep your device safe. But you know how it goes with built-in apps. They tend to be bad or simply too basic. And with ever-increasing online threat complexity, basic won't do. So let's find out, is Windows Defender good enough for 2024 in my updated Windows Defender review? I mean, security. Okay, let's sort this whole name thing out first. Windows Security started its life as a free anti-spyware program in the ancient times of Windows XP. Then it evolved into a built-in security suite. So Windows Security is a free and updated built-in version of Windows Defender. However, there's also a product called Microsoft Defender. Yes, they literally could have used any other product title, but I guess they didn't have a thesaurus. Microsoft Defender is a paid feature of the Microsoft 365 package. So you can see it referred to as Microsoft 365 Defender sometimes. Microsoft Defender is more of an extra layer of online protection, including the antivirus itself, identity theft monitoring, a VPN, encrypted storage, and other features. So now you should understand where the whole confusion on pricing and features comes from. We're gonna only focus on the free built-in antivirus, but if you want a full Microsoft Defender antivirus review, hit that like button and leave a comment. All right, with that out of the way, let's see what Windows Security offers. Since Windows Security is already included in Windows, I could say that Microsoft is forcing this antivirus onto users without giving them a choice. But it is a free OS with a free antivirus, and I'd rather beginners have at least some protection, even if it's not the best. On top of that, Windows Security integrates smoothly with most other antivirus tools. So along the way, I'm gonna recommend a few of my best antivirus choices that provide what Windows security lacks. To determine how good is Windows Defender, we first need to check out independent testing. And unsurprisingly, they aren't super positive. AV Comparatives in the latest September test reported that it had bad offline threat detection rates, only 77%. The online detection was better, coming in at 95.8% with five false positives. Again, for a free option, which is, let's be real, most users' first antivirus, it's okay. But whenever your online habits grow, your security should too, and Windows security can't really catch up. Luckily, providers like Bitdefender, Norton Antivirus, or Total AV always get nearly perfect scores. Total AV, for example, had zero false positives in the latest report. It pairs up nicely with Windows security since Total AV lacks a firewall, while Windows has one built in. On to my own testing. The process was the same as with all other antiviruses, placing 10 malware files on my device and running the full system scan. After around 10 minutes, Windows security managed to catch four out of the 10 malware files. Of course, that's not great if we compare it to Bitdefender or Norton versus Windows Defender. They constantly catch nine out of 10 files. But if we compare it to my previous Windows security test in which it only found one file, four is a big improvement. And with it being built in, there is another benefit it's not that taxing on the system itself. There were a few jumps, but the average CPU usage was around 50%. So it's not as bad as it used to be, which was basically a 20 minute coffee break. Though to be fair, with alternatives like Norton and Total AV implementing cloud scanning or optimizing their tech, they can offer similar performance. Oh, I've left my special discount deals for all recommended alternatives in the description. Or you can grab Norton with the QR code on the screen. If you don't know what to choose, I'd recommend going with Norton. It basically has everything that Windows security is missing. Now, as for its setup, there really isn't one. It's already in Windows OS, so you can use it immediately. As for the design and functionality, it's okay, but not the best, but definitely cleaner and more understandable than previous versions. If we compare the UI with other antiviruses, it clearly lacks any sort of animations or visually pleasing effects. It can look too simplistic for some, but I, for one, love this approach. No fancy animations or other stuff means more responsiveness and better performance. In fact, my personal Windows device has all animations and visual improvement turned off. I'm all about the smoothest experience. You can start a scan or remove malware even if you're a beginner, and it's good that it comes already automatically quarantining threats. As for the provided info, it's great that it shows what specific threat was detected. Honestly, what improved the most in streamlining the UI is the firewall and network protection. It was a complex mess in previous versions. But now, with simple toggle buttons and only basic information displayed, even new users can get the hang of it. Firewall is one of the biggest pros for Windows security. It's highly customizable and offers strong protection against inbound and outbound traffic threats. 
If you wanna go into more advanced settings and allow certain connections to go through or be blocked entirely, you can find them down here. I also have to give Microsoft a point for allowing for easy notification management. Sure, you could turn off or minimize some of them before, but these settings were mostly buried somewhere. Now it can be greatly customized with just a few clicks. Next up, there's the classical Windows troubleshooter. You can run it if you have any problems, and by design, it should help you either solve it or at least pinpoint the cause. I said should, since you've probably seen the jokes about the troubleshooter never actually finding any problem, even if the computer's currently on fire but it can solve more basic problems. And I have to say, it proved itself to be a viable tool for beginners. There are more useful tools that Windows Security has, including device health options, but it's mostly self-explanatory. And I wanna focus only on the security aspect. Windows Security also includes file encryption, core isolation, and reputation-based protection. So safe to say that you shouldn't abandon Windows built-in tools. Just improve protection with an antivirus that can actually fend off all online threats. Norton, Total AV, or Bitdefender would all be perfect for this. Not only are all of these antiviruses great at stopping malware, but they also come with a lot of extra features like VPNs, password managers, parental controls, and proper customer support. Yeah, sure, Windows has countless forums or articles, and there's even a built-in knowledge base, but when having a real problem, a live chat support at your fingertips is a much better option. Well, after looking at Windows Defense, I mean Windows Security, it's a decent built-in basic level protection. It's better and more optimized than it was before, cleaner, faster, easier to use, but when it comes to actually protecting your device, it's still way below even the industry average. And you don't deserve just average, you deserve the best. So pack Windows security with Norton or Bitdefender and you'll have an unstoppable combo. Thanks for watching my Microsoft Defender antivirus review till the end. Once again, the discount links for my recommended alternative antiviruses are down below. If you've had any good or bad experiences with Windows security, leave a comment sharing it. Oh, and you can find our full Norton review and other content by subscribing. Anyway, that's it for today's video, and I'll see you later.